Welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today we're going to discuss self-mapping using the Paul method. So stick around. A few months ago we filmed a three-part series on land navigation where we took it from beginning compass reading, brought in some maps, and they finally finished off walking in an actual land navigation course. So I thought today, why not elaborate on those skills and talk about self-mapping or finding yourself using the Paul method. Now what is Paul? Paul stands for Positive Azimuth Uniform Layout. It is simply one of many control measures that you can put in place to help you figure a straight line azimuth and distance back to your camp without having to stop and backtrack by shooting reverse azimuths to every single previous point. Before we jump into the Paul method, you're going to want to grab a few items. First, you're going to want a good compass. This is a Sunto MC2 base plate compass along with ranger beads or pacing beads. Next, you're going to grab two mechanical pencils and a good notebook. Both of these are made by Right in the Rain. Next, you're going to want some cordage, whether that be paracord or bank line. Now, all of these items I've just shown you are available on my Amazon Influencer page. And last but not least, you're going to need a good understanding of basic compass use along with how to perform a pace count. So if you don't understand those concepts, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and throw up a YouTube card, click on that icon, it will take you to my compass playlist, check out those videos, then come back here and give it a shot. Now if you already understand those concepts, let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so how does this work? In order for this to be successful, you have to have a solid route that contains azimuths to specific locations along with accurate pace counts to those locations. So let's go ahead and set up a fictitious scenario where you're out scouting for the day, looking for resources. Let's go ahead and say that this stake right here with the tape on it represents our base camp or our vehicle. We'll drive that in the ground right there. And that'll be our starting point. Let's go ahead and say that we walked on a bearing or azimuth of 200 degrees for 200 meters to our first point. We're out scouting the area. Place my compass on there. Rotate it until that needle is in the doghouse or the reds in the shed. There's 200 meters. Let's go ahead and say the length of this notebook represents 200 meters. Take my next stake, drive that bad boy in right there. Take your cordage, pull it tight, wrap it around. Do it once or twice. Now let's come back and double check. Two hundred degrees, good to go. Now let's say from here we turned and we walked on a bearing or azimuth. We rotate that bezel ring of two hundred and forty degrees. And we walked it again for another 200 meters.
We're then going to go ahead and walk. Let's go with 300 degrees. For 200 meters. And now at this point, we notice there's some water down here. We're now gonna head thirty degrees let's say for a hundred meters. So if that length is two hundred. Half is 100. We got our water. Now from here, we want to go ahead and turn let's say to 300. Let's go with 320 degrees. For another 200 meters, now you can see. The route that you just walked is unfolding right here in front of you. At this point right here, we're done, we're getting tired. We want to head back to our base camp. Like I mentioned before, the beauty of the Paul method is it allows you to figure a straight line azimuth along with distance back to your camp without having to backtrack by reverse azimuth to every single one of these previous points. So from here, all we're going to do I'm going to wrap my base camp, make sure it's tight. The tighter you can get this, the more accurate it's going to be. Wrap it to the outside. And now, take my compass, lay it next to that line. Put that needle in the doghouse, or the red in the shed. And according to this, I can walk a barrier azimuth of 100 degrees for approximately 2, 4, 500 meters. And this same method actually works between points as well. Let's say at point number four, so one, two, three, four, I realized, uh-oh, I don't have my glasses. But I do remember having them at point number one. Oh, hell no. I guarantee we're going back for the shades. All you got to do is wrap point number four in the direction, straight line distance to point number one. Wrap it around, pull it tight. Put 
the compass base next to that string or that cordage. Rotate that bezel ring. Looking at approximately 110 degrees. For about 375 meters. Back to point number one, and I can retrieve my glasses. Welcome back. The Paul method of self mapping is outstanding. Just remember, you have to record your route as you walk it, keeping accurate pace counts and azimuths. Let's talk about these stakes. This was a six foot fiberglass dowel from Home Depot. All I did was cut them down to one foot pieces and sharpen them. But truth be told, you can walk around, pick up sticks off the ground, sharpen them, drive them in, and you'll achieve the same goal. Now do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.